Now, forming part of the agreement, if the property that we are offering on has a well and or septic, then we need to request information from the seller about the well and the septic. And then we need to have our own septic and water, both quality and quality tests completed. So clause one, we're going to ask the seller to, you know, within a couple of business days to produce the, all the information that they have on it. And clause 1.3, if they haven't pumped out the tank in the last 12 months, then we need them to have it pumped prior to closing. If they have pumped it in the last 12 months, we actually want to leave it as is because septic tanks need a certain amount of matter and bacteria to do their jobs properly. So on to clause two, buyer's conditions. The agreement is subject to the buyer at the buyer's expense to conduct tests and inspections of the well and septic systems, if applicable, to determine the quality of the water, the well water on the property, including that it meets the recommended health standards of Government of Nova Scotia for bacteria, minerals, and chemicals. B, the quantity of well water, including that it provides sufficient water for the needs of the buyer. And C, the condition and function of the septic system. Now, I am more than happy to book these uh, inspections for you. I work with a few trusted partners. You know, depending on schedules and location, there's a, there's a few variables to, to, to look at here. But I, I do. I, I have, a, I have a, a Rolodex full of qualified professionals to help you with this, with this decision. Now, we're going to give the seller instruction similar to the agreement of purchase and sale, clause four. The buyer shall provide the seller or the seller's agent on or before time, usually 4 or 5 p.m. Atlantic on the blank day of X. So what's also new is it also refers to form 408, confirming that all conditions identified in this clause are now satisfied and waived. This is important because there was, you know, it, it was only just introduced in, in January of 2022, where we needed to say what time and use Form 408 stating which conditions have been satisfied and which have not. So there was enough, enough issues there that they determined that a form was actually necessary. So that's, we'll have a new Form 408. That's it, that's all.